Hey guys, we're going to learn a little bit about the different phases of the moon. So if we were in class, we'd be doing some fun activities with this in science. But since we're not, we're going to do a little reading and I will attach some activities for you guys. First, I want you to be thinking about when you go outside at night, what do you notice about the moon? It looks different every night. All right. Sometimes you don't even see the moon. And if you look right here, that is called a new moon. When you see no moon in the sky, we call that a new moon. That means the sun is shining on the moon this way, and we don't see anything from Earth. Now, we know the moon is a satellite that orbits around Earth. That means it goes around Earth. And we start with a new moon where we don't see anything. And it gradually grows. Now, when the moon grows, it gets bigger. So when you think of growing and getting bigger, I think of the word waxing, like you see right here. Waxing makes me think of it getting bigger because I think I just keep adding wax onto something. It keeps making more and more something. If you look at these phases, you have the new moon. Then we call this the waxing crescent. The crescent is just like the little sliver of the moon, okay? It looks like the seas, okay? Those are crescents. Then we have something that's called the first quarter. So we only see a quarter of the moon, all right? That's called first quarter moon. And then we have waxing gibbous. So gibbous is when it's almost a full moon. It's over halfway and it's almost the full moon. So we call that waxing gibbous, these two stages. And then finally, we have the full moon. I'm sure you guys all know what a full moon is. It's when you see the full moon in the sky. But I'm gonna tell you just something a little tricky. It's actually not the whole moon. Only half of the moon is actually lit up. And I would explain that, I would show that to you in class, but we call it a full moon. Now, as the moon gets less and less and less, we call this waning. It's getting less. Okay, so this would be called the waning gibbous because it's more than halfway. Okay, reflected. Waning gibbous is these two. Then we go to the last quarter or third quarter. This is called the third quarter moon or last quarter moon. And then we go here to waning crescent. These little slivers are called crescents. And then we're back to the new moon where it is. You don't see anything. And we know this is a cycle. It keeps happening every about 29 days, about a month. Every month, you're going to see a full moon or a new moon or a first quarter or a last quarter. All right. I want you guys to read some books about the moon and learn about the phases and different exciting facts about the moon. Have fun, guys.